Just weeks into the school year, Mount Vernon schools say a new policy is working. They are asking people to not leave their engines running when they pick up their kids. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett is live in the studio to tell us why the district hopes to breathe easier this school year. Jason. Well, Sadie, you can't get a ticket for idling your car in these brand new idle free zones and there's no fine, but there are a couple of incentives for parents. First and foremost, the health of their children. It's just minutes before the Friday dismissal bell at Washington Elementary. Anticipation for the weekend is at a fever pitch. And the sound of silence fills the air. If we're sitting here, there's no reason for us to sit here with our cars on, so. That's right, no engines running, no mufflers rumbling, because Mount Vernon schools are now idle-free zones. If you're going to be waiting more than 10 seconds, turn your vehicle off. Lynn County public health officials have been performing studies around the school district, looking at pollution and its effects on school children. Vehicle exhaust can exacerbate asthma symptoms as well as other respiratory illnesses. Drehaas says asthma can lead to more sick days. It's the leading cause of school absenteeism and also the third leading cause of hospitalizations throughout the United States. A study at one Mount Vernon school found that parents idled an average of five hours a day. That's a thousand hours per school year. It also found that more than 800 pounds of pollution were being released into the air. And the school district is leading by example. As all our school buses go up, we shut them off while we're loading and unloading. You're saving fuel costs when the vehicle's sitting there not running, you're saving money. Everybody seems to be on board with the no idle zones, even if it means a little sacrifice. It's not so much fun in the middle of summer, but if it's still, you know, I mean, whatever we can do to help. Now, currently 50% of air pollution comes from mobile sources like cars, which is why public health hopes to get this policy not only in schools, but in places all over Lynn County. In the studio, Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News. Jason, thanks.